What's up guys, I go by J2A TV and today is a very special, special day. After many long years and one terrible, terrible attempt that we will not name on this channel, ever. My eyes! My eyes! Avatar The Last Airbender is back. The popular animated series, which first aired in 2005 on Nickelodeon, follows the last air nomad, a new avatar named Aang, as he strives to bring peace to the four elemental nations at war and master the four elements. The critically acclaimed franchise spawned its own sequel series, comic book, novels, and live action film in 2010, which we won't ever talk about again. Now, the new live action series is coming from the streaming giant, Netflix. I'm super excited to see um, all the different kinds of things that they brought to it, what they decided to keep, what they've changed. In today's video, we're just gonna take a look at the very first trailer for the Avatar The Last Airbender live action series that comes out in February of this coming year, 2024. We're gonna kinda take a look at some of the Easter eggs, different things that they've alluded to in the video, things to look forward to, things that maybe don't exist in the animated series that they may have added in. It is expected that each one of these episodes is gonna be about an hour long, so that would be about two to three of the uh, animated series episodes fit into one. Based off of a lot of the reviews that I've seen online, it looks pretty good. I'm cautiously optimistic with how they're gonna uh, deal with Avatar moving forward. The animation looks good, and honestly, I'm just happy to have characters that pronounce their names the way they're supposed to be pronounced. My name is up. Make sure you guys hit the like button and subscribe for me for more Avatar content. Let's get into it. All right, so just to start off the trailer, the first thing we see here is uh, Sozin's Comet and it makes sense that the writers would want to start here and you know give some background context maybe a little bit more than uh, the animated series did to kind of how the firebenders were able to exterminate almost all of their air uh, nomad people and, yep see here that looks like um, the air nomad temple that Monk Yasso and Aang um, originally were from you can see it's under attack Kind of like some of the arrows and fire coming in just kind of looking at this image here the the fire bending looks pretty good we get a quick glimpse of a battle here um it kind of looks like some of the fire nation is wearing some armor which is pretty cool i wonder how much into detail they'll go with the actual costumes another scene from from book one where ang's kind of in the iceberg and i can't tell if that's katara or Sokka standing there at the bottom um you can kind of hear the ice cracking a bit the character of Sokka um a lot of people were saying that they that was probably their least favorite person that they casted um I'm actually pretty happy with it I think he's you know a pretty accurate representation of of what Sokka might look like and I really like how they stayed with the bright colors when it comes to a lot of the different scenery and characters that's something that really brings the series to light um a lot of times when series are taking things from animation to live action they just kind of dull out the colors and make things a little bit more bleak to kind of give it that more realistic look. I think it loses a lot of its authenticity if you take away some of those kind of key elements. But one thing I did notice is they did not give Sokka the light blue eyes that he has in the series. They elected to keep it more black. Maybe that was uh, to stay more along the lines of you know, making it more realistic. Katara also no light blue eyes either, but she did get the hair loopies. The, the scenery for the ice looks absolutely amazing. I think this will be Netflix's highest budgeted show, um, even more so than Game of Thrones going into it, so it makes sense that it looks this good. Look here at the Earth Temple, the door kind of opens up, ha <laughs> ha nice! If you kind of, right when the gates open up, if you kind of look down to the right hand corner, that might be, you know, a uh, cabbage, uh, cabbage man, you know, a little uh, Easter egg there. Hopefully, um, you can't really see it that well, but I'm, I'm hoping. It looks really good. You have the kind of the gates opening up and it almost looks identical, honestly, to what the the Earth Kingdom uh, Omashu look like um, in the show. That this, again, looks amazing. Great animation. They kind of even have like, you know, the little passageways that go through for the mail delivery. I wonder if they'll show that scene or how, how that will, whole thing will come out, but I'm excited to see. Then here we have Zuko. Okay, we got a closer look at the Fire Nation uniforms. They look pretty damn close to how it looked in the show. 
Obviously, there's different styles for different fashions of the Fire Nation during different time periods. Like, there's the Southern Raiders that, you know, kind of raided the Southern Water Tribe and took Katara and Sokka's mom. But then there's also, you know, the 100 years ago, that have, like, kind of the pointy uniform. Like, there's so many different things. So, it's not, not really that different, but I'm, I'm kind of glad that they gave it, like, a more realistic but very familiar feeling look. Um, Zuko's character, you know... They got the scar down, nice ponytail. He actually looks really good there. Uncle Iroh, that's probably around when uh, Zuko was getting banished. Uncle Iroh doesn't look too happy there. Um, Zuko's kind of assembling, you know, his his little troops and Garen to be banished. So they'll probably, they'll probably go into a lot of depth with that. Um, the show kind of skipped over it a bit and just kind of gave the backstory of you know, why Zuko was banished and that trickled into, you know, kind of the backstory with his mom and all that, but I'm, I'm sure that the show will go into more detail with that. There's really not a lot of source material for book one. Book one is the shortest, so I'm sure they're going to fill in, for the sake of time in television, I, I'm, I'm sure that they're going to fill in you know, things that were just briefly alluded to, fan fiction or some other things to kind of give this a, a, a longer feel and fill in the gaps, which could be cool, you know? As long as you're adding something cool, like, I, I really like the creativity. I, I, I'm interested to see where they go with that. One thing I, I was wondering about is how they're going to tackle earthbending. I think earth, earthbending can be really cool and, and, and be and like be one of the cooler elements to watch bends like that and waterbending, but earthbending might be harder to make look more realistic. Like firebending you could do pretty well. Waterbending could be tougher, but I, I you know, good animation studios can do water well. Like uh, the other Avatar, like the water animation in that movie is amazing. Um, but I'll be interested to see how, how, how they do it and how much they do with earth, earth bending in this, uh, in this show. Top's one of my all-time favorite characters in any animated series, period. So, um, I'll be really looking forward to season two if we, uh, if we get some top action. Or maybe they sneak her into season one, who knows. First look at, uh, I'm assuming that's Fire Lord, the Fire Lord, yeah. That Fire Lord there. He looks really good. The background looks amazing kept that kind of traditional feel, you know? Like the Fire Nation is supposed to be based on Japanese culture and that looks very much like Japanese culture there. So that's pretty cool. Uh, quick look at Suki and Sokka. Again, like more of that gap filling, kind of uh, setting things up maybe for season two, a, a little bit more than they did in the animated series. Kyoshi Warriors, they look amazing also. And kind of flying in on his glider there. I like how original, again, with the colors and how they kind of kept Aang's look exactly almost exactly as it was in the comic books like I, that gives it a very familiar feel and something that you know i'm happy that they didn't change so then okay we get a quick look here looks like uh some burned down trees and kind of falling to his knees looking around fire nation destruction it's pretty good and okay so this we see here is, is zuko uh zuko's agni kai with fire lord ozai his father um, we kind of see him getting getting burned and banished. That's something that did not uh, was not shown in the animated series. Uh, they kind of pan away, and then Iroh kind of closes his eyes and turns his head away. But they're actually showing it here. Um, here we have uh, just a pinup of what looks to be an air nomad. I'm assuming that's Zuko or... Uh, actually, no, this is probably not Zuko. This is probably um, Zhao, General Zhao looking for Aang the Avatar. It's interesting that, you know, neither one of them actually knew what Aang looked like. They just knew that the last airbender was an air nomad. So they just put up a generic picture of what they would assume an air nomad to look like. So, okay, we get a little, nice little back-to-back -back image here with Iroh and Zuko. Both casted really well, in my opinion. Looks really good. Then we kind of get our first look at firebending here. Interesting, they decided to show Azula Azula does not pop up in the, the animated series until season two, but we get a, a look at her here. I'm assuming that since she is such a, a huge character in the rest of the series that they're going to do a lot of building, build up, or maybe some flashbacks to Zuko and her childhood just to kind of build her character more and add to the story. That would be my guess. Like, I'm, I'm probably the most excited to see how she comes out, to be honest. The blue flames will also probably look really cool in, uh, in live action. This could be... You know, just maybe some added filler, or the, it's dark, so there's not really a lot to 
to add here, but you know, uh, attention to detail. They kept Sokka's like little neck necklace thing there. Um, really cool details, and, and I, I think the costume design is amazing. Here we have what looks like Aang kind of going into the Avatar state. This could be uh, thinking back to season one. I think the only time or like the first time he goes into the Avatar state is when he discovers uh, Monk Yatso's deceased bones. And Aang kind of loses it, loses his emotions, loses control, and goes into Avatar state. He looks pretty calm here, so that maybe not, but that's really the only thing I can remember from season one. Or maybe this could also be, uh, you know, maybe a, a tease from the season finale, perhaps. Uh, maybe the season finale will be him, a Aang, taking on, you know, the Fire Nation army as, you know, the, the moon spirit. Nice. So he gets to see some airbending there. Then we see Appa. Good look at Appa here. Appa looks amazing. Kind of have Katara sitting up front, Sokka in the back as he often did in the show. I'm telling you guys, it's going to be amazing, bro. I can't wait. Oh, Momo. Momo even looks pretty good. Uh, I wish they made him look a little bit less animated, but, you know, you can't get everything perfect. Yeah, again, the scenery is, looks incredible. Yeah, I'm 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 really excited as a fan, as a long-term fan, long-time fan of Avatar: the Last Airbender. Like this can't help but bring a smile to your face. February 22nd, um, because it is so early on, we probably will be getting a second trailer um, sometime soon that'll show some more bending. You know, not not really a lot going on in this trailer, but just kind of giving you a feel for how the characters look in their costumes and some of the the, the scenics and scenery. Uh, a lot of the attention to detail that they put in there and, and honestly guys it looks pretty amazing i'm not gonna lie i'll be reacting episode by episode and just my overall takeaways if you guys are excited or you notice something in the trailer that i didn't pick up on please let me know in the comments smash the like button and subscribe if you guys want to see more avatar content on this channel also watch one of my previous avatar the last airbender videos and another one that you might be interested in below until next time, guys, appreciate you guys for watching. J2A TV out.